Well, was a long time coming. I first heard Bolero and wore out that album, and then I was just inspired to listen to every single piece Ravel wrote. So from Bolero came Judo, then the Pavan, then every piece that he wrote for piano. It felt adventurous, it felt revolutionary. I was seduced, inspired, sometimes frightened, but um, I couldn't let go of Ravel and I had to do this album. What I found interesting about my visit to Paris was that I heard the Pavan in my head the whole time. When I was walking, it was almost as if I was walking into the rhythms of Pavan. And when I was recording it, not only was I going back to the time where the Pavan was danced, I was seeing Paris while I was playing it. Live concerts, you have 2,000 people watching you. With recording, you have maybe five or six people watching you. And for me, it is live all the time. And it's always a performance. With every take, it's a different performance, it's a different vibe, and it's part of the magic of um, getting all, th all that into one CD, into one um, comprehensive track. I love recording as well as I love performing. To me, it's just a matter of making music, constantly being inspired, and I'm inspired by um, every atmosphere. The last take of the Ravel with the Gaspar de Lanoui, and then I just had the itch to record all of the Ravel, and I think that's gonna be my goal after this album is released, is to just have a follow-up, do the Concerti, do the Vals Noble, and let this adventure continue. Mm -hmm. 